Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, December 20th, 2021. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter number 3. And it's verses 22 through 24. Scripture says, Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord. Friends, I know many of us today are still in the workplace, and and it seems that jobs are getting harder and harder to find out there today good paying jobs I mean and it seems to be harder and harder to be able to to support the family and to and sometimes you may get down thinking that if, if you're in the marketplace now and you're out there looking for a job you might think that maybe God has deserted you but he hasn't he's got the perfect job lined up for you you just need to find it and just ask him to lead you to it but for those of us that do have jobs those of us that are working for, for people today, that punch a time clock each day, these verses give us some important principles that we need to make sure that we're applying in the workplace. He says here, servants, that would be those of us that are the employees. He said, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. That would be your supervisor. He says, we need to obey them. We need to do what we're told to do. We need to do the things that they've said we, that's part of our job. You must obey in all things, your masters. And then he says in verse 23, And whatsoever ye do, whatever your job is, he says, Do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. You're working for the Lord today. How is that or why is that? Because you are the Lord's representative there. I'm not saying that you need to have a flashing light above your head that says, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, and keeps flashing on and off. But the way you conduct yourself, the way you do your work, represents the Lord. And if you go in there and work as a man pleaser and work hard while your boss is watching and goof off when he's not, what kind of image is that giving of your supervisor of the Lord or to your supervisor of the Lord? Paul says to work wholeheartedly as to the Lord. Why is that? Because verse 24 says, Knowing that of the Lord... Ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Do you ever think about while you're at work each day that you're not working for your employer, but you're working for the Lord? Think about that. And do your job as best as you can because you're working for the Lord. You're representing Jesus. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you and then share that Word with someone today. And before we sign off today, the New Year is just around the corner, just a couple weeks away. And we're doing something starting January 1st. If you have the Version app on your, on your iPhone or your Android, uh, there's a plan that we're going to read together. It's called the 90 Days, or the New Testament in 90 Days. And we'd love for you to be part of that group that's going to read that. It's limited to the first 150 people. So swing by our Facebook page and uh, make sure you sign up for that. For more information, you can check out our Facebook page. What a great way to get started in the brand new year. Then spend the first few months of the brand new year studying God's Word together. Think about it. Swing by our website, Facebook, or swing by our Facebook page, facebook.com slash scripture links and get more information and sign up there. Have a blessed day.